Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about an amazing compound which promises to help us age better by helping to ward off many age-related diseases. This compound can be found in many of the foods we have been told our whole life we should be eating. And after this video, you might just want to follow that advice. As many of you know, I recently had a bit of a health scare. I was diagnosed with pericarditis which is an inflammation of the heart lining. Now, the treatment for pericarditis is anti-inflammatories and wait and see. While, of course, I followed my doctor's advice and took the anti-inflammatories, I also wanted to see if there was something else I could do to help my body heal from this inflammatory condition. So I did a bunch of research and came across a compound which promises to not just be incredibly helpful for inflammatory conditions, but a host of other concerns. This compound is called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is a phytonutrient, which is a fancy term for a nutrient found in plants. It is also an isothiocyanide, a type of compound which is synthesized from a precursor in cruciferous vegetables. Sulforaphane acts as a powerful antioxidant, meaning it helps fight against and repair damage, which occurs to our cells just through daily living. And what makes it stand out as an antioxidant compared to other popular phytonutrients, such as curcumin, is its very high bioavailability. Bioavailability is the degree to which a nutrient is available to the body for use. And as you can see from the study, sulforaphane's bioavailability is quite impressive. Now, stick with me for just a moment, because what we are talking about now will become quite important when we start to talk about supplements. So as I mentioned earlier, sulforaphane is an isothiocyanide, a type of compound which is synthesized from a precursor found in cruciferous vegetables. This particular compound is called glucorophanin. Glucorophanin stays stable in these cruciferous vegetables until we cut them or chew them. Once that happens, glucorophanin comes in contact with an enzyme called myrosinase. Spurred by myrosinase, our gut bacteria then converts glucorophanin into sulforaphane. So by chewing or cutting our cruciferous vegetables, we basically create this incredible compound. So let's take a look at why this compound is so promising. So as I mentioned earlier, I was trying to find something to help me heal from this inflammatory condition, aside from just taking anti-inflammatories. And sulforaphane has shown to have very strong anti-inflammatory properties. It seems to inhibit the inflammation in conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, gouty arthritis, type 1 as well as type 2 diabetes, and even some autoimmune diseases. It may also show potential in the treatment of chronic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, cardiovascular diseases, and even cancer. So knowing that eating a bit of broccoli can have such strong anti-inflammatory properties is quite important because chronic inflammation is at the root of every age-related disease. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that 70% of all deaths globally are attributed to chronic inflammation. So sulforaphane can help us calm down chronic inflammation. And as I just mentioned, it has potential in the treatment of cardiovascular diseases. It can help protect our heart from damage, which is what made me curious about it. An animal study in which these poor animals were given a drug to induce heart damage showed that when these animals were fed sulforaphane, it drastically reduced the damage. Other studies have shown that sulforaphane can help protect against cardiovascular diseases, which again is great news since heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. So sulforaphane can help calm down chronic inflammation it can help protect our heart. It may also help protect our brain. It may have protective effects on cognition and brain function. 
In other words, it may help us stay smarter for longer. A 2018 study concluded that sulforaphane can be protective against brain diseases, largely due to its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, as well as anti-tumor properties. Another study showed that it may also have the potential to protect us from diseases such as Alzheimer's by enhancing the expression of brain-derived neurotropic factor or BDNF, which is also known as brain fertilizer. And if all of that wasn't enough, so forfane can also help boost liver function and help with detoxification. In a 2019 study, Sulforaphane was found to help reduce liver damage in rats with sickle cell disease. In another study, sulforaphane was found to help protect the liver and induce detoxification by triggering enzymes and the creation of glutathione. Now, glutathione, I made a whole video on, I will link it down below, but glutathione is also known as the master antioxidant. It is something our body makes naturally, but as we age and through life's stresses, it gets depleted. So, so forfeiting can help boost liver function and can help with the creation of the body's master antioxidant glutathione. But not only that, it can also help neutralize benzene. Now, benzene is a carcinogen found in air pollution, secondhand smoke, and car exhaust. All three of those, we have a ton here in Paris. So knowing that sulforaphane can help neutralize benzene is great news for those of us living in polluted cities. A 2019 study demonstrated efficacy in enhancing detoxification of benzene using a broccoli sprout beverage. So drinking a broccoli sprout beverage or eating broccoli sprouts can help our body neutralize benzene, which again is great news for those of us living in polluted cities. And talking about carcinogens, sulforaphane may also have cancer preventative properties and the capacity to be selectively toxic to malignant cells. It may have cancer preventative properties for specific types of cancers, particularly prostate and pancreatic cancer. So this incredible compound seems quite promising in the prevention as well as treatment of cancer. But sulforaphane can also help us lose weight and it can do so by inducing a better response to leptin, a hormone which is partially responsible for hunger as well as fullness cues and also fat storage. A study in mice showed that feeding obese mice Sulforaphane for 23 days induced a better response to leptin compared to the obese mice who were not fed sulforaphane. And as if all of that wasn't enough, sulforaphane may also have strong antimicrobial properties, which can help protect us against gut pathogens, as demonstrated in a 2020 study. Another study found that sulforaphane can help eradicate H. pylori infection in the gut. So as all of these studies show, sulforaphane is quite the incredible compound and I know I want to include it in my diet. Now, if this video has convinced you to also include sulforaphane into your diet, the best source of sulforaphane is actually broccoli sprouts. Half a cup of broccoli sprouts provides 292 milligrams of glucosinolates and glucorophanin, which I talked about earlier, is a glucosinolate. So that gives broccoli sprouts 10 to 100 times the power of regular broccoli in terms of glucosinolate concentration per serving. Now, if you do not want to sprout your own broccoli sprouts, eating broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and other cruciferous vegetables is of course still very beneficial, but make sure to eat them raw since heat can destroy quite a bit of this incredible compound. Now, there is no established recommended daily amount for sulforaphane, but some studies suggest 200 milligrams of dried broccoli sprouts converted into a supplement or half a cup 
of fresh broccoli sprouts are a great goal to aim for. And of course, it is always best to get the bulk of our nutrients from real food whenever possible. Now, at some point, I want to try sprouting my broccoli sprouts. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I hear it's a bit complicated. If you sprout your broccoli sprouts, please let us know down below any tips or tricks. But I haven't gotten around to it because I wanted a quick solution for my inflammatory condition. I just went straight to taking a supplement. So I have been taking this right here. This is by Do Not Age and it is called Sephora Boost. These are capsules and one capsule contains 200 milligrams of sulforaphane glucosinolate from broccoli seed extract. It also contains the enzyme myrosinase, which I talked about earlier is quite important to turn the precursor of sulforaphane into actual sulforaphane. So I take two of these a day. I take them with my breakfast. You want to take these with a bit of fat. So I take them with my yogurt and then I store them in the fridge. But as I mentioned, at some point, I want to try sprouting my broccoli sprouts. If I'm successful, I will make a video on it. Now, again, if this video has convinced you to try sprouting your broccoli sprouts, good luck. Let us know down below how it worked out. If you take a supplement, please let us know your experience down below. And if you're curious about taking a supplement, make sure it contains what you're looking for. I really like Do Not Age. I think they are a great company and I really trust them. So I hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye.